Right, so it's my here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to build like a kind of DIY torch. But anyway, it's just a really simple thing that I had a couple of things lying on, and I have built the circuitry, but this is just for the woodwork tutorial, as I will be putting it in a wooden box. So, let's see how this works out. So guys, to start with, you need a circuitry, and as I said earlier, it's really simple. Now, I just had little bits and bobs lying around. This from a really old Nokia. Um, same with the battery as well, that was from a really old Nokia. And this was from a, one of those like camping lights that you push, the round ones, and that have three LEDs, as you can see you push. And this one's really bright because it's 0.7 volts more. This is 3.7 volts, and it should go in at 3 volts. So it's quite a bit brighter, but not too bright that it will overblow the resistor or anything else. So, that's cool. So all we have here is a charging port that goes straight to the battery. And then also we have this circuit board from the light that is just glued on and obviously you push it to turn it on and push it to turn it off and there you go and you've also got these wires obviously that I soldered on just on straight to the battery connections so what we're going to do now is we're going to put it in a wooden box let's try this okay guys so what I've done here is I've drawn around the battery as you can see on there they don't quite turn off it's really annoying look that's on see and that's off and they don't quite turn off anyway ignoring that fact I've drawn around the battery, left a bit more around here because on one of the sides I'm going to cut a thing out and I don't want it to be like super thin that it breaks. Um, but I also want it to be symmetrical so I've done it to the other side. There's two of them there that I cut at the same time. This side was a bit um, bad as you can see all the cut marks. I'm just about to find down with these as I did in my previous video with the box I made. Once that's done I'm going to drill a hole in there get a coping saw and cut out all of the insides just ever so slightly larger than the battery size so it will definitely fit in but then I'm also going to put a thin two millimeter piece of ply on the back and front so it's not too thick or anything and it keeps it nice and secure but I might even like plane it down with these a bit on the front and back if it because it might be a bit too thick but anyway let's just get on with it and see what we do Okay guys, now I'm going to sand it down with some 240, as you can see, very lightly, it says P240, which just will make it extra smooth, as I can feel, that feels like one piece. If you were to just come around, instantly pick that up, you think it's one, until you like look really closely, there's a direct line down the middle, just going to do it here. Super smooth, here, and solid because the glue's dried and everything. So now we can get drilling and cutting with my coping saw. Okay guys, I'm at my mum's now, and my gorilla pod's kind of falling apart, but anyway. That cheap switch that I said had a dodgy connection, it was literally the switch, it wasn't even the solder connections or anything. Uh, yeah, I've checked that in the bin. And the solar panels that I got, these are from Fairy Lights, but the solar panels I use for this, see, it's quite nice. And then... See, this is how it came, I still haven't done this one. But anyway, back to this. So I've put some new solder joints on, if my camera wants to focus. I've desoldered the switch, put um, one of them from these here. Here's the charging port, that hasn't changed. And you guys saw me doing this. Two pieces of ply stuck together. With the 
cut out, made out with a coping saw. This side is slightly bigger on purpose, so that when this goes in, the switches can be on the smaller side, and the battery can be shoved this way a bit so the switch fits in. And then down here where this crack is, that's the bottom, we're going to have the charging port over here, the switch over here. And yes, it's back bright again. The battery never started to die, if I even mention that, because I thought it did. But it was just a switch becoming more and more broken and lowering the voltage somehow. And then you had to literally hold it by the end. There wasn't like a dodgy connection. It wasn't like, ooh, don't touch it now. You literally had to hold it to keep it on. And I couldn't even find it, so I was just like, right, taking this off. Putting your switch on. We're going to glue this on with the glue gun over here. I do have some tools in my toolbox over there. So we're hopefully going to be able to cut out two holes to fit these in. So, let's do this! Okay guys, so there we go. That charging port in there nicely. Nice and snug. This one, it's a bit loose around the edges. Ready boom. There you go. And you just turn it off. There you go. Okay, so over here is the charging cable. Um that's the connector. So I'm just gonna plug it in. Okay guys, plugged in. Yeah, it is supposed to be hanging out a bit. It's from one of those old Nokias. Like, really old ones. And there you go. It, it plugs in nicely. It just goes straight in 5 volts. No charge regulator or anything like that. So, yeah, it all works at the moment, which is really cool. Those LEDs look cool on camera. <laughs> They're just illuminated. So, yeah, I'm going to put some 2mm ply over the top. And over the bottom. Which I have in my toolbox, just over there. Um, so yeah, let's get doing that. Okay guys, so, I have cut both front and back pieces. Um, hang on. That one goes on like that. And in this one, I've put some blue tack on the LEDs. And then push that on, and it's come up with the, like the little dots of blue. The camera probably won't pick it up, but you know. Um, anyway, that one goes on that way. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill them out. But I'm going to do it on here so I don't get make a mess. So let's do it. Okay, so um, yeah, a bit messy. Obviously, I'm going to sand that down. But um, I kind of split it slightly down there but you know once I've glued it it should be okay and now's the testing part I guess which the thing is here turn that round I hope it's all right oh uh, no this one's completely wrong okay guys so it actually looks quite nice so once you just have that on there and that on there it actually looks really nice look the grain just looks amazing I love the grain and then you've got the lovely charging port over here. Switch to turn it on and off. So now, like, you just have that showing. I've had to, like, drill a couple of them out. Just this one and this one. But it looks alright now. Now I'm just going to get the glue gun. Glue them together. So let's get to it. Okay, guys. So it's Max here. And I am back. And I've just had a tidy up. As there's no soldering iron glued on or any kind of mess of wires and stuff. Anyway, here is the finished product. 
as you can see. Yeah, I did that on the wrong way around, you know, the nice grain. But you know how I made that? Two pieces of, I think it was 12mm ply stuck together. Works fine. No dodgy connection at all. And then you got a port on the bottom of there, which this cable fits into. There you go. And then you can just unplug it. It's got USB on. Need USBs. Yeah, so I could plug it into these, 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 or anything with a USB. Even to the side of the laptop. It looks quite nice, I thought. Works fine. There you go. Just three little holes. Try to make it as centered as possible. But I made it centered this way, but not this way. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something from it as well. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you next Wednesday. Remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.